Welcome back guys, Discount Tools here. Today we have the Daytona Low Profile Long Reach 3 Ton Heavy Duty Jack. Alright. I'm going to get her open, have some fun, but this is item number DS300LR. This has a 24 and quarter max lift height, 3 and a quarter extra long profile minimum lift height and 35 inches long reach frame for maximum access got this a couple months ago this is like I, f I forgot how much I paid for it it was about probably close to 200 but this is something new that they offer now um, I think their other one is four a four ton it's the yellow one but this has some features that the other one doesn't have just like the foot pump as you can see back here for a hands-free quick lifting as do you know the dual pistol design and everything so let's get her open and see what this is like inside off first out of the box it's a very nice um nice screen printing here for Daytona nice foam grip too to the bar boy I'm guessing this goes in like so these two hit this together it clips in and that's your handle it's just some nice knurling on top That's your instruction manual. Turn the flash off. After all of that, We have the floor jack itself, which, oh boy, let me take this off the stand. This guy's heavy. Um, as you can see, you have the floor pump here. Probably have to take this off right here. This plastic piece out to raise this part up where the handle goes. Nicely lubed. Nice rubber floor jack mat right here uh, where the uh, jack is stand it goes. Protects your car. <sighs> Did not expect this to be this heavy. Wow. <laughs> so, you have a nice grease point here. And that's what I like seeing with the Harbor Freight jacks. They do for grease points a lot of these guys they don't um, and it's just an easy thing to keep going there we go just gotta work it out and all you do after this after the get that piece out there we go um, that's not even that bad once you have your handle in Let's see how this jacks. All you have to do is put it in like so. And then just turn this set nut until it's flush. You don't have to over tighten it or anything. And then, wow. And then you can just turn it back. Nice. Very responsive too. And then if you just want to jack it up with your foot, Look at that. Wow, that's like, this is, 
Look at that. Look at that. You don't even... I don't even need... You, you do not even need the handle. And look at that. Look at that height. I mean... You know, that's over my knee height. <laughs> On this jack, we'll get a. Let me get a. Let me get a, uh, a a measurement on this. Make sure it's actually that height, and we'll be right back. So I got my Milwaukee tape measure right here. So let's see how high this this from the bottom is. It's 24 and a quarter, and I'm only almost up to 25 inches. So you're almost. You're getting a good reach with this low profile jack. Um, I forgot which the other one is. I, I know it's a Daytona, but it's the yellow one. They, that's the one they got sued from by Snap on, I believe, because it looks just like their jack. Let's lower this. Very nice, too. Very smooth. Because that's why I got this one. It was low profile. I don't think the other one's low profile either. I think it's because it's four ton. I could be wrong, but it has the same metal uh, side railing here for strength on both sides. Um, that's why I got this one. It looks exactly like this one, except this is. I think this is long reach, and the other one I think it had better tires versus having the long reach. And I would wanted to have the extra reach when I'm going underneath a car. So let's... And basically the reason why I also got this over that was for the long reach and the low profile because I have the three ton regular uh, Pittsburgh Jack. Um, we'll do a quick like comparison between them um, in a minute. But I got this one because my other jack can't go underneath my Dodge Challenger. A lot of these new cars, you need a low profile jack in order to get underneath the, the car. So let's, let's try it out. All right guys, so we're at the Challenger and I just want to note that pulling and maneuvering this jack is the greatest thing ever. I mean, my other jack was a little hard, I would have to lift you know use this to lift it up to almost to like get over objects if there was rocks and stuff from harbor freight it was still a good jack compared to a lot of the other jacks i've used but this is just this is phenomenal i mean it's just easy very easy to maneuver so uh, let's see if i can get underneath here which yep as you can see i can oh my bad. See, I have enough clearance here. To position this. We need it. Sorry about that. Looks like we got it. And voila. It's up in the air. I don't think I have the other side up in the air, but this will give me enough clearance to actually do the brake job I have to do on this truck the car. Um but wow, that was so much easier. So, I shall be back. We're going to do a comparison between this and the old Pittsburgh that I have. Alright, so I'm here at my Dodge Challenger, and this is where I have a problem. As you can see, it's about 8 inches off the ground, and I can't get my regular jack underneath here. So, I'm going to show you how low this guy can go. So as you can see, if I can get some movement on here, since it's on grass, that's the thing I hate about these jacks. If you have any type of grass, and as you can see, the whole thing fits underneath. 
But if you have any type of grass or anything, they're really hard to uh, move with one hand. We're going to have this driveway fixed. As you can see, I'm trying to think. Not a lot of wiggle room, as you can see, but try to jack this up. As you can see, I think I'm in a jack position. Yeah. Even though basically the whole jack is underneath the car, I can jack it up. You can get that tire right off the ground there. And you'll be all good to get that tire off. I already had the brakes on here. Pain in the butt this uh this uh challenger is. If you're ever doing brakes on the challenger, the front uh caliper bolts are actually different than the rear caliper bolts. They're 13 millimeter on the front, 15 millimeter on the back. But the caliper, uh, the brake bracket bolts are all the same. They're 18 millimeter, which makes no sense. Then I heard that, I was wondering why, because the torque specs are actually different for the front and the back. Now that makes sense. But then I, they also have the performance package brakes, which have their own torque specs and their own torque bolts. So <sighs> probably that's going to be 15 millimeters. <laughs> really weird. But let me get back and we'll show a little comparison between this and my other Harbor Freight. Alright, so we're back. This is the Daytona and this is item number 68048. This is the 3 ton rapid jack, floor jack from Harbor Freight. I got this two or three years ago and as you can see um, got these lined up exactly gonna actually run up my tape measure in a minute but you can see the handle is much longer they're longer too on uh, to the front compared to the orange one basically the same design almost except as you can see this flares out a little bit but this has a more of a winged curvature to it same thing here you're gonna see more of a wing here where this just drops off for more stability I already Looks like dented this right here. There's probably hit something underneath there. So just be mindful. It's not going to be holding up as much. I already had this thing pop off, but you can put the um, crossbar on here. That's what that nut's for. Just put that back on. But so far, I don't know how long this is going to last, but as you can see, I only used this for a day, and the wheels are already getting marred up. These are marred up already. But I really don't care about this guy. I've left this guy in the rain, wind, snow, and it's lasted me about two or three years right now. I just needed the longer floor jack. And I think these are now painted red. Yeah, it has a different paint job, but this one held up pretty good, you know. It did its job, and I'm just gonna I'm still keeping it around. Um, this one. If it gets really bad, I took the warranty out. So in two years, I could bring it back. They'll give me a free one, and all will be good. But so far, as you can see, you have the same rubber uh, foam cushioning, actually, right here to protect the front of the car. So it doesn't, if it hits it, you know, you'll be fine. Same knurling, just this is further out. Uh, let's get a measurement on it. So we got the handy dandy tape measure, and we'll measure this out from at least here. So you got oops, just shy of 31, I'd say 30 and a half, about yeah, maybe 30 and 5 eighths, or 3, eh, we'll call it 3 quarters. It's 33 quarters from the back here, it could be about 31 looking up there and then here as you can see I would say this is in that league of the red one You're looking at that this is 23 inches bring this out 
the height from the O-ring here is well, just under 44 inches. And here, I'm going to have to, sorry for the camera work guys, I will apologize for that. Shy of 48, so almost 4 feet. Yeah, so it's, uh, I'd say it's uh, 47 and 3 quarters, so shy of, so you're, you are getting a more, more uh, handlebar here for your buck, so you are further away from the, from the car or whatever truck you have, so that just in case it does fall off the jack, you have, you're, you, you have space to get away. Um, I love the low profile of it. I do love this jack, and I also recommend this jack, too. I mean, I've jacked up, um, many cars with this, many, most of my, most of the time my truck. You've seen, uh, if you've followed my videos before, you've seen my, my, uh, Dodge Ram. I've used this plenty of times to jack it up with no problem. Um, I think once or, one or twice it, it's, it did, you know, let go, but that was because I didn't get a good, uh, good center of the uh, metal that I was trying to lift on it. Um, where it was just rusting on, you know, halfway here. So, but this, this is great. I really love this for the, uh, the Challenger I'll be using. I'm gonna try to do a test later on, maybe after a couple of, uh, a little more time using it, but I do recommend it. I really like it so far. Um, just time will tell if this will last as as long as this, um, like I said. But as you can see, I already dented the metal here. Um, but this is a thinner part of the metal, and I think that might not. You know, it's there's some parts here are thinner than here. This one's a little more robust. Um, very. This is just probably. I want to say this is as heavy as this one, or very similar in weight. Um, you know now nah, actually this is a little lighter but it feels it's just as heavy because everything's so compact on it I do like this jack um, it is you know the weight difference is, is there but as you can see you know it might not hold up as long because of they kind of made this one a little more thicker whereas this one's a little more thinner so you might want to consider that a two year warranty on it and remember, it's a two-year warranty where, because of this, you can take it back or all this stuff. Say, yeah, it's, the wheels are not as good as that anymore, and they'll give you a free one. And then you can buy the two-year warranty again, just in case. Get a different color if you want, and you're on your way with a new jack. For, I think mine was like 30 bucks for the two years. So if you have to go back every two years and get a jack... For thirty dollars compared to two hundred, I think that 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 that's in the ballpark right there. Um, but that's my thoughts. Let me know um, if you have this jack. Let me know if you, how you are liking even the Harbor Freight jacks, as everyone's coming home now. Um, you know, give me your opinion. Let me know. I really like them so far. I think they're they're worth the money. Um, it's one of the three things I know they they're known for their hand tools, their jacks, and their tool chest. And I have all three. Um, well, it's more not the hand tools are great. It's just their warranty. You just walk in. Even if now I've heard that they're looking your name up with your phone number now to make sure you bought it there or you bought the you know tool there. But when I had it, when I've done it before, you just walked in. Here's my Pittsburgh ratchet broke. Go get a new one. And you walk right out with while you hand in the old one. So let me know. Also, hit the like button if you like this discounted content. Subscribe if you like want more discounted content. And as always, guys, leave a comment down below. Let me about this discounted <laughs> discounted content. And as always, guys, keep on trucking. I'll see you on the next one. That's my thoughts on the Daytona. I really like it so far. Time will only have to tell how long it will last, but like I said, if it lasts as long as this guy, it'd be great. It's been three, four years, and I haven't had any issue oiling it, 
worrying about, you know, different things on it. And this one comes, as you can see here, zoom in here, you know, it's well oiled. I mean, I've had, so, whenever I get anything from Pittsburgh, it's really well oiled. I usually never see this on some name brand stuff, so. Alright, till the next time, keep on trucking, hope everyone's safe and staying safe with this COVID stuff and everything, and families are my prayers. As always, guys, keep on trucking. Peace out.